We're going to paint a hibiscus flower. It's simple. What we're going to do is connect the leaf petals that we made earlier. So we're going to have five petals that are joined together. Remember our C's. I'm not touching. I'm just making our C's and connecting as I go. Pointed petals. I like to call this a hibiscus first cousin because it has a hibiscus flair but it's not quite the hibiscus. It's an adaptation. So here we go. I like to have pink in with my orange. If it will come out. There we go. So we're going to just enhance it a bit on one side with our pink. Remember, you're going to keep it on the same size, side. How about a little bit of gold glitter? And for this, we're going to use our pointed brush. They called it rounded when you go to purchase it, but it's, I like to refer to it as pointed. So, okay, I'm using a number six. I'm going to load up my brush. Let me just put a little bit of paint on the side. Just a little. I'm not, I don't want to waste my paint, but I do want to have a fairly strong stroke. So that's why I'm loading. Let's start at the tip. Press and pull. I'm going into my gold side first. And I'm just pulling this to the center, just as I did with my petals, my leaf petals. And I can offload. Press and pull. Continue to offload. Pressing and I'm pulling. That's all I'm doing. I switch sides there. Didn't I? Let's go back to the side. I really like to be consistent and stay on one side at a time. You see, it still works out. Just pressing, I'm meeting it up. I'm not overlapping. I'm just letting the two sides come together. Now we do have a fair amount of white in the middle. That's quite okay. Wipe off your brush, offload, and rinse. We're going to take care of the white center by just adding our bees. Our bees are very, very simple. We're just going to go like this. Notice my stroke. I have my, my container at an angle and I'm gently squeezing. If you squeeze too hard, you're gonna have a problem. What you're gonna be doing is having one thick log that comes out and it's not very attractive. So we wanna have a, a delicate rose, a delicate rose. We wanna have a delicate line for our okay, flower. So I'm coming with my V right to the center. And up again coming from the center this time and up. It really depends on your angle, what you feel more comfortable with.
and remember to wipe off the tip of your nozzle. And we're going to now make a pistol, the same thing that we did here. We're going to just keep it flowing very slowly and gently out. It's an air bubble, we don't want that. That's why we shake our, our containers out. We're going to turn it to the side just a little bit and pull. So here we go. We don't want a straight line. We want a slightly uh, bold line. So here we go. Soft turn and out. Not very long. Shake again. Get the air bubbles out. And we're just going to dot. We have a little bit of pollen on there. So that's our hibiscus, pointed hibiscus flower.